Okay, I've been having a charging problem. With my grasshopper mower, my 721D. And this is a fuse. Let's see if I can get it in there. Let's see if you can even see it. You can see one end is burnt off right there. You couldn't tell it from the top. Sorry, this is so out of focus. I had to zoom in, the camera's clear across the other side of the mower. Either way, this was a problem. It tested okay from here to here, across the two, but you could, I couldn't tell until I got this out and tipped up on its side, where I wasn't looking straight down at it like that, that this was burned up. So, what I've done so far, took my drill, drill, and I just went straight down into the hole and just opened them up to where I can take this fuse, fusible link wire. The ends right in there. I really need to get you guys a better position. But the wire comes through here. And you can see that. Gives me more than enough length to clip in to these two once I cut them off. Put my links in there. The only downside is, is that this is the fuse that came, the style of fuse that came out of it. This is the style of fuse that will be going back in. For now, I'm just running a 20 amp because, well, that's what I've got. I don't have a 30 amp, which is what this calls for. But maybe if it was running a lower amperage, it would have blown the fuse instead of melting it like it did here. It's just uh, the bottom side of this, I guess, gets corroded. And then it just starts arcing and sputtering and then messes up and then you're screwed. So, let us begin. Put this someplace I won't lose it. Oh my, I'm getting old. Nah, I'm just getting a little older. I say old, it's really just older. Alright, let's wag off the ends of this. Down past the burnt point. Oh, what are I doing with the strippers? Oh, there. Left them on the toolbox. I've got regular wire strippers, but these just work so much easier. Oh my. No, that is burnt a bit more than what I thought it was. I'll have to put some tape on that one before I'm done.
All right, I'm gonna need a larger connector, which I should have known anyway. Those look to be the same size, but we'll see here in a second. Nope. This side didn't get crimped. Must have pulled out just a little bit. Yeah, lucky for me. I have enough extra wire. So there we go. I don't like doing anything twice. I just told you I had my other crampers. Come on now. That insulation just burnt. Try this again. All right, I'll try crimping it with these so I can get it more on the end. Okay, and that's good. And then we'll slide this through. And attempt to straighten up that wire. I'm just barely staying in the frame there. Give me a second here. Oh. There, yeah, maybe that'll make it a little bit better.
kind of a cool wet day here it's been raining most of the day come on get in there oh you booger Alright, it's in. This is the only thing I don't like about these particular pliers. In fact, I think I can probably get away with using these now. Alrighty, that's one. Let's see if we can make the second one go a little bit smoother. Toss that puppy. So, back at the grasshopper, had a voltage problem, it was not charging, now I've kind of skipped ahead here. What I'm doing is I'm putting an inline fuse, which I have, oh, right there, in here, I'm going with a 20 amp fuse instead of the 30 amp that came in this. These are the terminals that burn up because of corrosion. And give me just a second here. This is the fuse that came out of it. Yeah, that little tab is all that was pulling power through it. And the odd thing is, is that it will still have power from here to here. This wasn't broke before. That broke when I tried to pull it out. But it was when I got this all apart and was able to tip this up. Where you can see it like that. Then you can see that this was burnt. But looking at it from the top like this, you couldn't tell. So you can't always rely on checking across the fuse for power because this one had power all the way across but i did not have power going through here so to prepare this i don't want to set the fuse inside of here in case it blows because like i said i'm going down to a 20 amp fuse instead of a 30 amp i may put a 30 amp in it later but for now i'm just putting the 20 amp in there because well that's what i've got also, the type of fuse that came out of this is this kind. The kind of fuse my inline fuse takes is this kind. You see it's different electrodes, tips, whatever you want to call them. So, I took my drill. I ran my drill down through the holes. That loosened up my wires. I can pull my wires out and then I will run these this straight down through there I'll twist it around but and I've got more than enough room between here and the seat the seat sticks out about that far 
so there won't be any problem with rubbing or anything like that. It's all enclosed, so if it gets wet, it's not going to hurt it. But this is my fix for this. This I had just twisted these wires around. Well, I'm just all over the place here. Okay. Got the wires twisted around. And now they are fed through the inline fuse, and you can see the one wire right there. No problem with attaching to here. No problem with shortage in length. So that's what I'm doing today. This has got to be one of my worst videos ever. So, but either way, that's what I'm doing. And then I'll plug in the fuse once I get it all back together. And then I get the joy of putting this thing all back together, which comes to a new thing. You see that? And let me get there. That hole right there. Can you see it? Probably not. Light's probably too bright. There. Now you can see it right there. Okay. I'm not as limber as I used to be. So getting up in there to get that nut on the back side, because here's where the bolt comes through. It comes through this direction. And I've got another one here and another one here and one on the bottom and I think that's it. So what I'm going to do, see there, right here and right here, is I'm going to take and put super glue on the back of this nut. Just enough to where it holds it in place so that I can get the screw started. And then tighten it down. If the super glue breaks loose, it ain't no big deal. Because, well, it'll be tight. Well, that's my video for today. Hope that didn't bother anybody or bore anybody too much. Y'all have a good day and take care. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, and now it's all back together. And you can see the voltage. 12 volts. No plugs. everything is falling off the back of the mower time to put stuff up oh there's the bolt I was missing <laughs> figures well I can put that in where I put that one in so I'm just happy to have it done sorry you missed out on a whole bunch of it but it was pretty boring the nuts kept falling out of place and things of that sort but hey and i got that one nut that i thought went way down there actually went further down there which made it even harder to reach but i got it it's all back together thank you for watching bye